Welcome back to the Bubba Dub Show. It's your boy Bubba Dub. We got a full show today. Crazy things don't went on the past couple of hours. I know y'all see Floyd Mayweather, Bill Hanging, talking that trash. But let me tell you something, Bill Hanging. You 50 years old, still talking about the streets. Don't nobody give a damn about the streets. You need to be out here helping your son find them damn AirPods he lost the other night. That's what you need to be doing, helping your son get better. Got his hell big out of another night. I cut my damn TV off, y'all. All that damn blood I seen on TV. I thought he got stabbed. I was trying to call Floyd and them and, and Tank David them to get the boxing uh, administration number. Because Ryan wasn't fighting fair. I, I couldn't get that damn TV. I feel like a horror show. All that damn blood on your face, boy. Wipe your face. We got company. You had company. Over 30,000 was at that damn show or more, and you up here bleeding like that. Wipe your face off, Devin. Now, Floyd and Bill, I'm disappointed in y'all. Y'all could have did that off camera. Now, that man, Floyd asked you a simple question, Bill. Curly her Bill is what they call you. He asked you a question. Do y'all need my help? And pride got in the way. No, I don't need your help. You need it the other night. You damn so need Floyd help the other night. Now, if you don't want Floyd help, cool. Antonio Torva help him. Roy Jones Jr. help him. I would say but no Hopkins, but y'all gonna get along. But somebody can help your son. And I'm all for you being there for your son as a father, as you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be his biggest motivator, which you are. I get it. But it seems like you getting in the way. Talking about the streets. Y'all ain't in the streets. Y'all millionaires. That's what we work hard for, to get away from the streets. Streets ain't nothing to glorify. Ain't nothing but death in them streets. How many mothers done lost their kids in the streets? So many men in the prison from the streets. Damn the streets. Time to act like adults. Time to act like men, kings. That's why these women act the way they act. Watching us act the damn fool. We got to do better. Now, Bill, Devin need help. God damn it, help him. We on fire today over here on the Bubba Dub Show. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Going in today. Yeah, I'm in there like swimwear. I'm watching the game last night. I get a phone call. I get a phone call after the Pacers and the Bucks play. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But after I get a phone call after they play, guess who it was? My pastor called to me talking about his numbers here on the board. I say, listen here, fam. You didn't even pay. How you going to win you ain't pay? Oh, oh, let me pay you right quick. Never. You might run the, you might run that church, but you won't run this right here. Pastors out here trying to scheme me. Talking about he hit on his numbers here. No, they didn't. Your numbers here. Every Sunday when we put money in that basket, and I ain't been putting none in the last three Sundays either. Yeah, I seen that big dually truck you got out there. Yeah, them two campers, them three horses and five cows you got, and the two chickens you got. I'm not putting no more money in your basket. You doing better than everybody at the church, everybody at the church, skeletal. We all thin. You, run, you walking around 250 solid. No, you eating too much, and I don't like it. When my mama need help with a light bill, you ain't want to help her. But you want me to help you, you and your uh, first lady, to go to Cancun. Never. Help you do nothing. I'm sorry, y'all. I got off track, man. I guess just understand, man. The phone call, my pastor really want me to give him some money. Man, I hit my numbers, hit my numbers. Man, you, fam, you didn't pay. You didn't pay. Y'all let me know if I'm right or wrong, man, how, uh, if I'm, how I did, Pastor. Now, you going to get me, I ain't going to give you nothing. Understand you're a pastor and all that, and I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm, I'm not. But if you come over here, you come over here, you're going to get them boys in blue. I'm letting you know that right now. I told y'all them Timberwolves gonna beat them fingers, son. I told y'all. I told y'all. Devin Light Skin Booker, where you at? This supposed to be your team, fam. You supposed to be in your prime right now. Where you at? 
Bradley Beal, where you at? Y'all don't want to win. Y'all just want to look good and get them big nice contracts and that's all. Well, that's cool. If that's all you want, well, get your ass out the way then. Charles Barkley rolling over in front of home makeup right now where you finger sons looking. Dan Marley too. Make no sense how y'all playing. Got my twin out there bowling. Ant-Man. Ant-Man is what they call him. Bowling. Rudy Goldberg. Yeah, the same one Draymond choke. Bowling. Get out. Get, give me that rebound. Boy, snagging them balls out there like RuPaul. Hello. Time to tell y'all, man. Minnesota Timberwolves is not no team to play with. They ready. Like I told you, Michael Conley Jr. over there. He dinosaur age, but he poised. He know how to control the game. You know what I'm talking about? That's a real point guard right there, man. That's what I like about Michael Conley Jr. Conley, Conley Jr. Conley Jr. Conley, Conley Jr. Y'all going to kill me in the comments. It's all good. I don't care. But uh, can fingers redeem themselves? I mean, they, I can see them coming home winning one. But I don't, I don't really see them winning back-to-back because they're just not looking good right now. KD, uh... He had an off night, I would say, 18 points. Uh, we know Kevin needs to be getting around 30, 35 a night. But, you know, players have off nights, and that just is what it is. But Timberwolves, they they cooking. They cooking with fish grease right now. Uh, I guess an exciting game to watch. I don't know if y'all watched that game or not, but that was an exciting game to watch. Um, KD, Booker, and Bradley Bill, Balga, this young phenom, and Anthony Elpers. Man, it just – it's a sight to see, man. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's going down over here on the Bubble Dub Show each and every day. And don't forget, you could win $300 this week, too. I'm going to jump in the comment section today, tonight. I'm going to ask somebody in the comment section a question about the show because you got to watch it to know this answer. And if, and if I ask you a question and you get it right, boom, you get the $300. But if you get it wrong, then I'm going to go to the next person and ask them another question about what happened in today's show. And then every day I have a chance to win the $300. Like I say, each and every week, you have a chance to win $300 over here on the Bubba Dub Show. I'm showing love to y'all because y'all showing love back. Keep running them views up. Keep hitting that like button. Keep subscribing. Keep sharing. And I'm going to keep giving y'all this, this comedic work over here. This is what we're doing over here. Make this the number one sports show. Let's do it. I told y'all. I told y'all them Dallas Shag Mavericks going to beat them Clippers. I told y'all that. Man, they didn't have Kawhi the first game and still won. Where he played last night and still lost. It's them new balances, fam. You can't ball in no new balances, I told y'all. You got to have on some Nikes, fam. Some Adidas, fam. Or some Shaqs. Or some Ivers. You got to run a Reebok sometime, man. But nevertheless, Dallas for real. Yeah, what well, I can't say. I am for real, never meant to make your dog cry. I, hey, Dallas pulled it off in L.A. last night, series one and one. Luca back, feeling good. They fed, I heard they fed him some uh, some uh, tiger soup. <laughs> they they can fed Luca some tiger soup. Um, Kyrie ain't in Ramadan right now. Y'all in trouble. The Clippers is in trouble. James Stripper Harden, all them Euro steps, ain't going to work, fam. Ain't going to work. No, sir. Paul George, they step back. No, sir. Kawhi, you want to bully your way in the lane? No, sir. Now you got to come back down here to Dallas now. Oak Cliff? Speaking of that, L.A., when y'all come down here to Dallas to the beautiful city of Dallas, when y'all go up there to Dallas, it's a beautiful city. I stay within the city. Don't you take your ass down there to Oak Cliff, think everything's sweet? It's not. You got niggas in Oak Cliff who don't even, who stay in Oak Cliff, don't even claim Oak Cliff. That's how dangerous it is. Them people in Oak Cliff, the same people that kill Jesus Christ. Telling you right now, don't go down there with that bullshit. Oh, I want to go see Dallas. Yeah, within the city. Step outside them city limits you want to. Go find yourself in a world of trouble. But have fun up there, though. One and one right now. Like I say, Dallas Clippers, one and one. 
on the next two games in Dallas. Uh, I can see Dallas winning the next two. Then I can see it coming back to L.A., you know, winning that one. And then I think the Clippers going to close them out. I said, I said, I think, I think the Mavericks will close them out. I said the Mavericks in seven. I still think the Mavs in seven. But I still think the – the Mavericks gonna win the next two games. Let me know. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Um, and who's gonna be the MVP of this series? Not the whole entire playoffs, but this series, like the Clippers and the Mavericks. Who y'all got um, gonna be the MVP of this series? Um, let me know. Pacers, Bucks. I know y'all seen Siakam. Look like Jermaine O'Neal last night. 30 cell. Bowling. Holliburn came back alive again. Yeah, I ain't talking about Halliburton or all company either. I'm talking about Tyrese Halliburton, the ball player. Yeah, balling. Dame did what he supposed to do, 34, 34 points. Brooke Lopez, 22. Yeah, Middleton, 14 and 15. That ain't enough. If youngest ain't there, you supposed to be the second best player. Um, Middleton, y'all keep playing around. Y'all act like the Indiana Pacers can't score points. You act like they going to get buckets. Now, you going to mess around let them tie up? Let youngers don't come back. Let youngers don't come back. You're going to lose this series, Milwaukee. I don't know who thought it was a great idea to bring back Doc. Must be smoking rocks. No damn way a Doc can't coach. Can't even coach his own son. Austin Rip. Trey. Get him out of here. Come on, Dane. Come on, Dane. Really want you to get you a ring, fam. Because I like you. I like you, Dane. And I want you to stop playing around with Glorilla. I want you to come out publicly and tell her you don't want her. And tell her, come find me. I'll be in Memphis singing the blues with her. Shit, come out let me glow. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You seen the way Melvin was cooking breakfast and baby boy? Shit, you see the outfit? Me? African squat squat. Every time I come outside in the garden, you leave. Ain't nobody studying you, bro. Nobody studying you, little. Gorilla, come out at me. Come out at me, go. Yo, Gotti, tell her what's up, man. I am. Man. Still got that series going seven Pacers books. Still taking the Pacers. Got Caitlin Clark up there in the city for good luck. Caitlin, come holler at me, man. You know, come jump on the show with your boy, man. We can chop it up, Caitlin. You know I got love for you. Angel Reese, same way. Come on the show. Come holler at your boy, man. I'm open invitation to anybody out there. Feel free. Want to come over here and talk to this trash talk with me, NBA playoff, football. Feel free to come out here and holler at your boy because my fans want to see you. Yeah, they want to ask y'all some questions. Pull up, man. We over on the Bubble Dub Show five days a week doing what we do best. And that's talking trash and giving y'all a real what's going on out here in the world. That's what we doing. If anybody been keeping up with BMF, I know y'all know the father Charles. Remember a time when Charles didn't want nothing to let dirty money? Remember he didn't want nothing to let dirty money meets for bringing in? But now you taking um bad eye Terry money? I want to take your mama somewhere. Stop it. You know you seen you seen you seen them big faces, Charles. Charles seen them big faces. Come here. Now you up there singing to Lucille. Come here. Boy, Lucille got eyes for the doctor. Now you sitting there telling Terry about what, about what your wife got for the doctor. You should have been telling Terry to take him out. The doctor is a threat. When it's a threat, we eliminate it. You tripping. Got a few dollars in your pocket. Now you want to go and trick on Lucille. Never. I treat Lu Lucille like she from Louisiana and give her a boot. That's what I do. Give her a boot. I understand that's your wife, though, Charles. You want things to work out? I understand. But Lucille ain't trying to work them out. She trying to have her cake and ice cream, too. Normally, it's the men that want it that way. Now it's the women. Lucille, you giving these helpers hope, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Stay tuned, man. You watching the Bubble Dove show. We're going to have fun over here. We don't do nothing there. We're going to laugh and giggle. Yeah. Nothing but trash. Talk over here. Stay tuned. More on the way, baby. 
I said Jake Paul was gonna whoop um uh, on Mike Tyson. I lied. Y'all seen the way Mike Tyson been training? Shit. Jake, don't you get in that ring with him? Don't you get in the ring with Mike? He gonna stop smoking weed too? He gonna stop having sex? Boy, you in trouble. Do you hear me? You in trouble. Shit, I seen Mike doing all that shit. Shit, it scared me. Yeah, he scared me throwing no punch. I had to go change my drawers. Shit, I apologize, Mike. The great Mike, I might as well say. I apologize. For, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking saying Jake Paul could be. He can't. Jake, you love your career? Don't you get in that ring with Mike. Don't you get in that gut ring with Mike. Only person I trust in the ring with Mike is Holyfield. It's the only person I trust getting in the ring with him. Hey, Jake, damn the money. It ain't worth it. Damn the money. Damn the money. Get in that goddamn ring with Mike. Go put some on your ass. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you what God love. Don't get in that ring with Mike. Mike will have him. He ain't going to just bite you. going to fight you. Trash of the day coming up, y'all. Stay tuned. You know my trash of the day going to? The NCAA college football. Y'all finally giving Reggie X Kim Kardashian Bush his Heisman Trophy when y'all never should have took it. Told y'all two or three months ago, give me trophy back. If y'all wasn't going to take drunk ass Jungle Man Zay her Heisman Trophy, you should have never took Reggie Kardashian X Bush. But I ain't know what, you know what? It's a good day though. Because y'all finally seeing the light. Y'all finally doing what's right. Get that man back his trophy. Reggie Bush is one of the best college football players we ever seen play. Now tell me I'm lying. NCAA college football, the committee, trash. I know y'all seen Yoke's brother up there in them stands. He assaulted somebody. I want Yoke's brother suspended and deported back to their home, back to their country. I want him out of the USA right now. America have no room for that kind of behavior. I know your brother Jokic. He a damn good player. But that don't give you the right to go out here and assault people like that. I was afraid when I seen that clip. I turned that shit off. Look like a horror show. Look like Ryan left with Garcia when, Garcia when he was whooping Devin Hanging. That shit scared me seeing that blood come from that man's face like that. It just scared you. It did something to my spirit. Ryan, you feeling yourself? You gonna whoop Hanging? Now you running around here calling out Earl Spin, Crawford, and each and everybody else, and Tank. I gotta tell you, leave Tank alone. You wanna be kneeling again like Kaepernick, boy? That's what you'll be doing, messing with Tank. And your damn so can't whoop Crawford. And I don't even think you can whoop Spence. Yeah, because Spence took that ass whoop from Crawford, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean EJ can't bounce back and win again. People just have off nights. Simple as that. Got me heated over here, man. Y'all get in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think Ryan can whoop Crawford, whoop Spit, whoop Tank again. I don't want to hear nothing about that goddamn rehydration clause shit either. That's all y'all keep telling me. Tank won't him drain. Hell, Tank ain't but 130 pounds. Ryan, Corona drinking that Garcia, walking around 160 every day. He the bigger fighter. Like me trying to fight Shaq. It ain't going to work, fam. It ain't going to work. No, I can't whoop Shaq. Well, I bet he can't whoop me goddamn calling 911. I bet you that. I talk shit to Shaq. Soon the police get there. But before they get there, I'm, yes, yeah, sir, Mr. Shaq, I apologize, all that. But when I see back up, that's when Dub get bad. Come on. Put you, come on. Got the heat. Just the Celtics again tonight. Celtics, it ain't nothing to talk about. Celtics again. Simple as that. Hopefully, I, I, I know I, that game shouldn't even be on TV, man. 
It shouldn't even be on TV, but it is. Celtics gonna win that game. Um, then you got the Pelicans playing the OKC Thunder. Uh, I think I think the Pelicans might steal this one tonight. I think the Pelicans might steal this game tonight in OKC, and they'll go back to New Orleans and uh, lose the next three. They lose two at home, and, go, and OKC will finish them off in five. I got see that series in in five OKC, but uh, yeah, them the games tonight. Really not no exciting games unless you're one of their fans of them teams. But, yeah, I got the Celtics over the Heat, and I got the Pelicans over the Thunder tonight. That That's my takes and my picks. Let me know, like, no, nah, dude, you tripping, man. The, the Heat going to at least win one, fam. You tripping. Or the Thunder gonna, ain't going to lose at home. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get in the comments section. Let me know, man. I go back and forth with y'all on it, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think, though. And don't forget, you got a chance to win $300. Because I'm going to jump in the comments and ask y'all a question. Yeah. And if you get it right, you're going to win $300. Let's go. Make sure y'all remember, this show has been presented by Prize Picks. Make sure you go and download the app. Use my promo code TRASH with the two H's. Yeah, the two H's. Yeah, it's easy to play. Either you pick more or less. Just that simple. If you love what you're seeing, or you love what you're hearing, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. You got to get in the comments. You got to share this because we're trying to make this number one. We we gonna make we ain't trying. We're going to make this the number one sports show. That's what we're doing. I got merch on the way. I might be coming to a city near you. I'm in Meridian, Mississippi, this Friday night at the Temple Theater. April 28th, I'm in Columbus, Ohio. At the Funny Bone, May 2nd through May 4th, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, Duval. May 10th through the May 12th, I'm in Atlanta, Uptown, coming at Theater. Grab them tickets. You can see me in person. You ain't just got to watch me on this podcast. You can see me in real life. I'll shake your hand and dap you up. Come see me on that stage. But most of all, though, you see me right now on the Bubba Dub Show, on the volume. Tap in five days a week. I'm dropping heat. Yeah, I'm dropping fire. Got to know what it is, man. Love y'all. See y'all again tomorrow. Hit them comments and let me know what you're thinking, man. Peace.